aquas what's going on welcome to my channel i am here to do a energy read for my aquarius for february 2021 this will be for aquarius sun moon rising and venus signs keep in mind this is general so it may not resonate with all aquariuses also energy time and gender is fluid so cross watchers you are welcome if it does resonate with you like share subscribe leave a comment hit the notification bell positive comments only quick announcement here i do have a busy schedule i work and i go to school so i will be doing the monthlies for every sign but your mid months i'm just basing those off of the views so if you get over a thousand views on the monthlies you will get a mid month so we're going to get started also tune into my material sessions that's for all signs, so it may resonate with you as well. So let's get started. Messages for my Aquarius. Messages, please. Aquas. Sun, Mars, and Venus signs. We in Aquarius season. The water bearer. The humanitarian. The rebel. Yes. A lot of you all are rebelling right now. Especially against the norm, like the norm of what people deem norm to, to them might not be norm to you. Positive movement forward. Okay, come through. I was, you had two cards to flip over. Stand your ground. Emotional loss. Okay. Discontent and boredom. Bottom of the deck. Rest and rejuvenation. Overall energy. Well, I feel like you have uh, moved away. Like you sailed away from someone. This could have been an emotional loss on your behalf or the person you were dealing with. Could have been a breakup here. I feel like spirit is telling you to stand your ground. Stand up for yourself. Show up for yourself here. Show up for yourself. Because I feel like um, someone may want to disturb your peace here because you are moving forward. And that's because they're bored with their life or their decisions that, they're made, that they made is what I'm picking up here. Someone may want to return to you. They see you as a safe haven, Aquarius. They see you as peace, tranquility here. But I feel like spirit is telling you to guard yourself. This person could have bought you the emotional loss as well. I feel like they see you moving forward. They see you being positive. They're seeing blessings coming in and now they want to return. Because what they chose to go to is not satisfying them. It's not. Hmm. Let's see. Let's clarify. Messages, please. Can y'all see this? Let's move it. Okay. Messages. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles wanted to come out. Let's reshuffle. All right. What is rest and rejuvenation? Yeah, you dropped this. This person could have been a burden on you in the past. Fire sign energy, Leo, Sag, Aries here. This was someone that was bringing burdens. Like, you, was, you could have been carrying this situation... Or this, uh, it could have been a relationship or friendship. But I feel like you was, like, carrying the bulk of this dynamic here. Like, you was carrying the burdens. This was weighing on your shoulders. I feel like you have dropped this. Also, too, I feel like this person is stressed out. They're burdened with a situation as well. And they want to drop the burden and come towards you is what I'm picking up. Like, they want to release the stress, the obligations. And just come towards you. Yeah. And I feel like they're doing it because they want to avoid a tower moment in their life. Mm. 
So they see you as like a safe haven, Aquarius. They see you like a safe haven. This could be someone you're dealing with as well, Aquarius. Scorpio energy. I also say this is Aries energy to me as well. This is someone you may deem as a burden. And you decided to either move away from this person or you're trying to leave this person is what I'm picking up here. Someone do not want this tower to end. Somebody is avoiding a tower moment. And the more they avoid it, the stressful it gets. Hmm. Give me one more on this rest and rejuvenation, please. Oh, Lord. Why I feel like Aquarius is, I'm, I'm be honest with you. Why I feel like this has nothing to do with you. This five of wands, this ten of swords, this ten, I'm saying ten of swords. So someone's getting betrayed here. But the ten of wands in the tower in reverse, I feel like you're at this rest and rejuvenation here. This is something external to you. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like you, if it is, I feel like it's a lot of arguing and bickering, but I'm not picking it up. I feel like this is something external to you. This is someone that wants to return to you. And whatever situation they're in, they could be in a commitment, they could be with someone else. But whatever situation they're in is very stressful. Like it's a lot of arguing, bickering, strife, confrontation, conflict. Hmm, what is this positive movement forward? I feel like this is you, Aquarius. You're moving forward. You're not looking back. I feel like you have a lot of uh, positive things going on in your life as well at this time. You're definitely not looking to anything negative or that's bringing you baggage here. The King of Cups. King of Cups, water sign energy. I feel like this person may see you as like moving towards positivity like you bought a lot of positivity in this person's life this person is realizing that now they also see you moving ahead you looking good you know you're feeling good a lot of you all are just working on your goals here this is someone that's very compassionate here but i feel like you closed out this cycle I feel like you closed out this cycle here with this water sign. Or it could be fixed sign energy here. Leo, Aquarius, could be dealing with another Aquarius. Taurus and um, Scorpio. I feel like you could have closed out a cycle with a water sign or a fixed sign energy. And I feel like you moved forward. You move forward here. What is the emotional loss? Somebody is feeling the effect of you leaving them behind. Yeah. Five of Swords, and then you have the King of Swords. Oh, that's not a good combination here. I feel like this person was very manipulative who you was dealing with. Could have been dealing with another air sign. You could have been dealing with another air sign or a water sign here. But someone was extremely manipulative here. They played a lot of mind games, either with you or this is how someone feels about you, Aquarius. But they played a lot of mind games. It's very manipulative energy here. I feel like if you're on the other end, like the receiving end where someone was being manipulative towards you, I feel like you cut this person off. And now they're feeling the emotional loss here. They're feeling that effect. But spirit wants you to really stand your ground here, defend yourself. Um... Stand up for yourself here. What is this? Stand your ground. The Knight of Cups. I said that someone wants to come back. And I feel like they're coming back because they're trying to avoid a disaster in their situation they have now. The Knight of Cups is like an offer, a romantic offer. I feel like someone wants to bring you a gift. Maybe, you know, Valentine's Day is this month. So, of course, someone may want to bring you a gift or may want to say Happy Valentine's Day to you. I said that. Someone wants to apologize to you. But I feel like Spirit is telling you to uh, keep your guards up. Set your boundaries with this person. Set your boundaries. This person, like I said, I feel like this person thinks of you as a safe haven here. Mm, 
they want to bring an apology, some type of offer here. What is the disconnect in water? A lot of water here. The Eight of Pentacles. So this uh, person could have uh, troubles with their finances. I'm also feeling like this person wants to come back and work on things with you. They want to put effort into this situation here. But again, I feel like you have closed out this chapter. Mm. This is sounding similar here. This person is trying to find a way to sneak back in your life. Some type of way. Yeah, sneak. I said sneak for a reason. This person could be married. Taurus energy. Or you could have been married to this person. But either way, I feel like this person is bored. Like, they're not getting... If they're in a commitment with someone else, they are not satisfied. Like, it's a lot of arguing, bickering. It's very stressful. It's weighing on their shoulders here. Then they see you over here, Aquas. <laughs> in your yoga pose, moving forward, being positive, standing in your power, understanding your worth here confidence sky high like they see you over here doing good you feeling good you making moves you know you being very productive being assertive you know and you are standing your ground you are highly guarded towards this person could it be their karma here hmm <laughs> I feel like someone sees you at peace and they see a lot of blessings and positivities coming in your life and now they want in is what I'm picking up. Are they feeling bad? What well, give me one more on um, the discontent and boredom? Give me one more, please. Mm, the eight of cups in reverse. I just heard I never should have walked away. Damn. Yeah. Somebody is unhappy in a connection that they're in here. Either the connection you're with or someone you was dealing with. But I just feel like, Aquarius, this was someone you was dealing with. You was previously dealing with. You all are in separation. I feel like they're in a, another commitment or they're married. But... I feel like they sit and think like, damn, I never should have walked away. Mm. Okay. Let's get some oracles. <laughs> That's coming in heavy. Damn, Oculus. Messages for my Aquarius, please. What do we have? Hmm. Looking closely. Observing, nitpicking, creeping. Situation magnifying. Things getting rectified. Focus. So, yeah, they're definitely observing you. Didn't I say that, though? It's like... If you are separated, if this person left you or you left this person, I feel like this person is feeling major regrets. Like they are real life observing you from a distance. Like you, like they're creeping on your page or they could be asking around about you. But I feel like they done gained some type of access here to see what you're doing. And you're making some positive moves. You're being very productive. Some of you all could be business owners or working on starting your own business here. You at peace, you looking good. And they see that, they see that. I'm telling you, I'm hearing somebody like, damn, I never should have walked away. Oh, well. They want to rectify this situation, but I feel like it's too late because my uh, my aquas I'm talking to, like, <laughs> y'all are standing on ground. Meditate. What they call it look like. They rest and rejuvenate. Meditate daily. Follow your intuition. Find inner peace and balance alone or with partner. A lot of you all could be single right now and you just focus in on your inner peace and your balance you know you're meditating you're praying you're speaking affirmations like i'm telling you a lot of you all are going through a transformation like a glow up here i don't see the transformation card but i feel it i feel like the movements that you're uh, making right now they're having a positive effect on your life here they see this 
they see this and now they're regretting that shit. I feel like it's stressful. I feel like someone is about to have a tower moment. If they lied or deceived you in any way in the past or manipulate you, I feel like they're getting manipulated now. <clears throat> Give me a card for Aquas, please. Can I get a card for Aquarius, please? Mm, didn't I tell you a lot of self-love is taking place here for my Aquas? They see it. <laughs> They see it and they want to come back. I feel like they want to return. They regret this though. They regret their decision. Whatever decision they made, if they chose not to put effort into this connection you had with them, they're regretting it now. If they walked away, they're regretting it now. Mm, but this is not over, huh? unfinished symphony this person is going to try to return didn't i tell you it's a lot of chaos and conflict even with you and this person i feel like if this person tries to return it will be some type of conflict because you don't trust this person standing your ground let me know you're on the defense you don't really trust this person you don't trust what they say so that's what i got for you all for february if this resonated like share subscribe leave a comment and i will talk to you guys later y'all be blessed bye